again everyone and welcome back to this series on iconic movie characters. Before we start, if you haven't already subscribed, if you could do that, that would be great, thank you. And also, ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, the iconic movie character today is Tony Stark, Iron Man from Avengers Endgame. Okay, I'm going to do a pencil drawing for you. I'm going to start off with the eyes. Let's mark off the corners here and his eyes slope up quite sharply and cut across like that and then down kind of flat across the top like that okay and uh, the eyelid coming in like that and there's a slight curve just underneath here well, that's fairly likely. Like that. And then the eyelashes underneath, they're a bit more heavily. Leave a little gap and then put them in. Like that, okay? And then the actual pupils themselves. You cut off the top part there. And you're looking up. And there's a highlight right there, okay? highlight that way. And his eyebrows are pulled down. Quite heavy eyebrows. Pulled down to this area here. And you'll get to the crease in his forehead going up like that. And the curve around forehead there. And the crease there. Eyebrow pulled right down to the corner of the eye, sloping up. And you get a kind of a light line of his forehead here as well. Also on this side. Okay, up to the top of the head now. Very large forehead, the hair coming in like that, and it's swept back. So if you use your pencil lines and the line across here in the direction of the hair going, like that, and down to there, and down towards his ears, and about that distance there to the top of the head. There's a kind of parting here, so the hair comes up. Like that, and across the top of the head, and it kind of sticks up a little bit like that, like almost like waves. Okay, and that here, so down this way, down towards the ear, which is here, quite a narrow shape of the ear, like that. Okay, and the side coming out. About there, could feel it brought at the top, then narrowing down towards the ear. Coming in about there. Okay, now over to the nose now. See more shadow on this side. And then down to about here. And you get that sort of a uh, Inverted, that's kind of V-shape there, rather. And the nostril, fairly close to the middle, and slightly wider there. Okay, see that? And then a middle line there, and of course the mouth is coming in about here. It's quite a wide mouth, actually. Above that, you have the moustache. It slopes down, broader there. Again, use your pencil in the direction of the hair and the moustache like that. And then his mouth is quite um, curled, you know, there's a kind of curl down first of all, and then it goes up and then down towards the middle into that shape there, then up a bit more, and then curving down more on that side. So you get that kind of shape there. Okay. And up towards the middle of the mouth. And a kind of bow shape and quite a deep bottom lip and down to there. And the moustache begins in here, or rather the moustache, the beard. And his chin actually is uh, down here, but there's a, a kind of muscle shape coming in here in his chin across there. Down to the chin, which is a bit here, the beard card is on. 
around the chin like that. Squarish chin across there and then up sloping up towards the jaw or towards the ear there like that. Okay and you'll get um, his cheekbone kind of highlighted coming down like that with another line in there. I'll put more shading in when I get around to that. And of course there's line down from the side of his nose. A bit more shading under here. Okay, you get that kind of line down there. Okay, now his costume. That, uh, now actually that's not deep enough. I'm going to take his chin down to there. Well, that's better. Okay, and I'll just take off this bit of beard here because it's not as thick as that. It's a larger chin than I thought there. Yeah, down to there, that's better. Across there. And then the beard goes up there. That's much better. Okay, the costume. On the other side of his neck here we have a kind of ribbed look coming down like that, quite up. And on this side the collar comes down to about there. And the rib look comes around from about just below the ear here. Get these lines coming in there. All right, and the whole of this uh, costume, of course, is a cross between armour and the musculature of the human body. You get these lines sloping down from the neck. It's almost like the muscle groups as well, you know. Come down to there, and shape in here. Now in the centre, you have a kind of clasp shape in here, which can down towards a heart shape on the centre of his chest. This comes up like that, a bit more angular than a normal heart shape. And to the there. Okay, I'll put that properly later. And then we get the top of the chest shape coming in across here, quite broad. It's below there, another couple of lines here, and that line going up there. And there's a line from the corner of the heart here, which comes up. And that is actually a kind of three dimensional shape, because you see it on the other side here, sloping up that way. It's like a ledge sticking up, it comes through it there. Okay, and above that, you have a shape which comes in a bit like this, joining on to the great chest plates on either side here. It's come down like that, and there's a, a ridge running along the bottom, and back up again. Okay, let's move up to this shoulder now, and in here, that line carries on. And you get a kind of a shape coming around from the back. Again, fairly angular, almost like component parts of a machine, you know. And that, we're still following the shoulder shape here. The shoulder shape with almost like a shoulder pad coming in. But again, you get a made of metal, that kind of thing there. And then and there's a kind of overlap shape coming in underneath here. And another one just below it there with a point on it. And then an overlap one coming beneath it. And finally a big one coming around there. Like that. These have a lot of edges on them to show that there's solid metal. Or metal like anyway. And up here you have and smaller shapes coming in like that, okay? And the part of his arm this joins onto is shaped like this. Almost kind of uh, making the biceps, you know, coming in like that. And then we have 
kind of overlapping shapes coming in there. And then the bottom part of his arm, which appears there. And this part of his chest comes right up, and there's another plate which appears kind of in there, joined onto that shape. And another one coming in there, like that. And finally, this other shoulder. You see that big shape coming in there? And there's a kind of groove shape appears just in here. Like that. And then below that, the bottom part of his arm again. Okay, so uh, let's get started on the shading in now, shall we? Okay, begin the shading now. By the way, I'm using a 4B pencil. Uh, now, start at the top, and the line along here is quite dark. So you can start by doing that kind of shading. Putting a lot of weight in your pencil, but always running in the direction of the hair. Going up like that, okay? And taking the weight off as you go up to the top a bit more, like that. Okay, now as I said, you get this parting, so you have these lines coming in coming down this way now. Like that, and a bit of heavier line along the top to get that nice kind of jaggy wave-like look. Okay. And down to that part there, and your lines start to head down like that. Okay. Now this is a pencil sketch, so we want to make it look you know, you can make it a bit arty and impressionistic. Okay, so there's a, the hair in. Now back down to the um, face and let's do the eyebrows next. So nice solid black in the eyebrows there. And down in the centre. Now remember to put the uh, photos in his brow there, and then that nice long slope of the eye, along the top, coming down to the eyelid coming in above that, doubling that line up, like that. and then the light line underneath, but a heavier line of the lower eye, eyelashes there. And put a bit more weight on the, the top eyelashes, I think, like that, okay? And then we can shade in the eye, but leave that with a highlight. See, it looks very dramatic when you do that. Okay. Now, the shading, a bit of shading in here. Leave a bit of highlight there. And then a bit of shading around this side. And you can use your pencil in a kind of circular motion like that. And you'll get some nice uh, gentle shading or subtle. Now down the side here, a bit of weight. And down to the actual nose itself. A bit of weight in the bottom here. More shading in here. Leave a bit of light there. And a bit of shading around about the back of the eye here. Yeah, and again, just emphasize these cheekbones a bit. You can use separate lines if you like like that, you want such slightly sketchy lines. And a bit of dark shading under the nose here, as it comes down to the moustache. Like that. And you can show the pencil lines, okay? And then the actual line between the lips here, curling up and then down and up again, and down, and shade in that top lip. Like 
like that, okay. And the bottom lip, fairly square. And then the goatee beard, just under his lip there. And don't forget the red of muscle shading on his chin. Okay. And that's his, uh, his beard coming in here now. And then the side to his jawline. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a bit of shading on his forehead now. Just to take that back a bit, and you can use these lines close together like that. As it gives a nice sketchy look. Down the side here, leave a bit of light there. And then I'll leave a bit of light on the in front of the nose. Most of the light's coming on either side, by the way. That's why I'm shading in most of the centre here. And down here. And maybe down to the chin there. Okay. Excellent. The underneath here actually is very dark, so I'm going to shade that in very black. It might be a little indication of a white line there, so you can see the end of his beard, just there. Okay. And then that line will go up inside. And we start to put in these lines a bit more heavily. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go around the lines that I've already drawn for you uh, a bit more heavily, and then I'll go back and we'll put a bit of shading in. Okay, as you can see, I've drawn over those uh, pencil lines that I uh, drew for you before. Just beef them up a bit, okay? And I'm now going to do a bit of shading on them. So I'm going to carry this black shading down around into the shape here. Oops, <laughs> broken pencil point. <laughs> yeah, another one up there. I think it's just a shade actually. Yeah, that bit there, and there's a bit of that shading coming down there, like that. And a bit of a kind of middle tone in here. And uh, up here, uh, there's some grey shading coming up the side. Coming up to this area here, which is again is very black. And we'll shade that in. Okay, I'm going to identify the dark, very dark areas, black areas almost, um, and also the dark area in here, and also the dark grey areas, and then I can move on to the kind of lighter tones. Come down there, very dark in here, dark underneath this part of the shoulder shape there, and also the shading around this side, also dark, and this little, almost like a medallion shape here coming in, and a lock, not sure what it is, there we are, going across there, and dark this around this curve here, by the way I missed out these lines in my original drawing, so there we are, they slope up there. Okay, a little bit of darkness in here, and then this kind of slit shape has dark shading down it as well, and also down there. Okay, so those are most of the dark, but uh, very dark bits in. Okay, I'll start to put in the lighter tones now. So, lighter around right here, and here, and right along here. This is darker, and darker along this line. But lighter in the center. Again, I can use those cross lines like that. Okay, and a bit of line down here. And up here, this is light, but there's shadowing on this part here. So let me shade that in. Like that. Okay. Shadowing in there, and also at the center of that part. And there. And let's see, move on to the side just now, a bit of shading here. And also, this is curved, so this part is darker. Even a little bit of light at the edge. And shade in. Like that. And then, on these plates, which are kind of overlapping, 
appreciated leaving a light right at the edge, like that, dark at the back, but leave a light part on the edge. Like that. Like that, and there's dark parts in here, and those overlaps. And this part here, uh, the shoulder plate, darker than this head. Again, you can use your shading to suggest what's the line of the, of the shadow there, like that. And we'll make a few head lines in too, okay? And the same with this part of the breastplate here. It's all fairly shadowed right around this kind of area here. So we can put in your shadow heavier down here. And we're waiting your pencil and you as you come up to the uh, edge of the shadow, take the weight off of it. Right along here. And a bit of shading on that too. See this part light. And this is a three dimensional shape, so that side is in shadow. Same as that side where the top catches the light. Okay, and there's kind of a bit of reflected light on this because the actual material that the suit's made of is slightly shiny, so you get a, a really good reflection sometimes. Take it up to there and then go across that chain there. Take that area down there. And then a bit of shading coming down to this ledge shape here underneath the, the chest plate. Like that. And use a point if you like, if you want to get some actual bits of line shading in there like that. And again, leave the edge white and bring your shading up and like that. And underneath that ledge there. And then down this side of the arm, a bit more roughly. And then, just to finish off, you know, you do some sketchy lines in like that. And this is darker in here. And here. And a bit of shading in that part there, the lower arm. Excellent. Right. That would be a good idea of our great character here, Iron Man. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that. And I hope you can uh, join me again in my, my next tutorials that are coming up fairly soon. Okay. Excellent. So hope to see you soon. In the meantime, of course, all the best. And happy drawing.